What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gents, it's your boy Evan. Everybody loves shoes and sneakers, right? A show of hands, who doesn't love shoes and sneakers? Let me see those hands. Exactly, nobody but all shoes are not created equal, right? Wearing the right shoe can make you look super stylish and super badass. At the same time, wearing the wrong shoe can seriously kill your style game and make you look like a disaster. I did a few videos talking about all the awesome shoes that all oh men needs to wear. I'll link them down in the description below if you want to check them out. But in today's video, I'm going to be letting you in on the top 10 shoes that all men needs to stop wearing. I have certainly personally made a lot of these shoe mistakes before and if you don't want to make the same mistake without further ado, let's begin. The first shoe that no man should ever wear, let's get this out of the way, and that is the square toe shoe. I cannot believe how many shoe stores are still selling these shoes, right? Nobody should be wearing these abominations. From an aesthetic point of view, it just doesn't look good. Because nobody's feet is square, right? Everyone's feet follows a natural contour. So the shoe that we are wearing should also have a curved silhouette. On that note, never wear shoes that are super pointy as well because you would just look like a douche. All right, on to the second shoe that no man should ever wear. That is sandals or Crocs. Again, why? There are so many better alternatives. I know in summer, you want to air your feet, right? You want your feet to be as cool as possible, but there are so many other better options. My favorite summer shoe is by far the Espadrilles. They are super thin and breathable. You don't have to wear a pair of socks and they look super stylish and chill. Generally, I don't recommend showing your toes when you're going out, but if you absolutely wanna, a pair of slides is better looking than a pair of sandals or crocs. And I don't even wear slides, right? But I know some people, they kind of can pull it off. So sandals and crocs, unless your goal is to look as unattractive as possible. All right, on to the third shoe that no man should ever wear. And that is hybrid dress shoes. This is basically when a sneaker and a dress shoe made a baby. You may think that, oh, sneakers are super awesome dress shoes, they are super elegant. So a sneaker and dress shoes hybrid, elegantly awesome. No, 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 no. As much as I want to save money, a dress shoe and sneaker hybrid, just doesn't work. You either wear sneakers or you wear dress shoes. When you wear a hybrid dress shoes, you get none of the look. It's neither casual enough to look good in your casual outfits, nor is it dressy enough to look good in your dressy outfits. So just keep your sneakers and your dress shoes separate. All right, on to the fourth shoe that no man should ever wear, and that is shoes that doesn't fit. I used to be super guilty of these mistakes, right? I've wasted hundreds if not up to a thousand dollars in these shoes. I used to buy shoes that are too tight, especially leather shoes because I thought that they would expand. By the way, pro tip for getting leather shoes, they don't really expand, maybe just a little bit, but they will just get softer as you wear them. So make sure that when you get them, they fit you comfortably right off the bat. Or on the other hand, I would buy sneakers that are too large because they are on sale because they are in odd sizes. So shoes that are too tight or too loose, neither is comfortable. So I sell them wear them after I've bought them and it would just be a waste of money in the end. So make sure to only buy shoes that fit. Okay, the fifth shoe that no man should ever buy and that is shoes that you are on the fence of, that you don't really love, that you just kind of like. Shoes are typically an expensive item, right? So if you don't absolutely love them, then don't get them. Even if it is on sale, if you don't love them, then you wouldn't wear them that much. Just like this pair of Converse Chuck 70 in yellow, it was half price when I bought it. I kind of think that this color is cool, but in reality, I rarely wear them out because it is just not so versatile. So no no matter if it is on sale or not, if you don't absolutely love them, maybe you should give them a pass. <sighs> but since I've bought them already, I should wear them more often. Okay, on to the sixth shoe that no man should ever wear. That is 
sturdy shoes. Now, your shoes doesn't have to be super expensive, but it should never be dirty. Just like nobody should wear dirty clothes, why should your shoes be any different? Dirty shoes just makes you look sloppy and dirty. So just like you would wash your clothes regularly, keep your super sweet sneakers clean as well. Okay, on to the seventh shoe that no man should ever wear, and that is shoes that are too loud and obnoxious. Now, shoes should be the supporting character of your outfit, right? Because ultimately, you want people to look at your face. So you don't want your sneakers to be the star of the show. You want people to focus here. Plus, wearing shoes that are super loud and obnoxious will just make you look like you are trying too hard. Like, you're just begging for attention. So stick to your basics and let your character and your personality be the attention. All right, on to the eighth shoe that no man should ever wear, and that is the shoe for the wrong occasion. Each pair of sweet shoes has its right occasions, right? For example, your casual shoe should be mainly for your casual occasions. You shouldn't try to dress them up with a suit or a tuxedo. Likewise, your dress shoes should be for dressy occasions and you should never try to dress them down with super casual outfits. Nothing sticks out like a sore thumb when you mismatch your shoes with your outfits. Okay, on to the nice shoe that no man should ever everywhere and that is super trendy shoes unless you have lots of cash to throw away. These super trendy shoes tend to be super expensive as well because they are limited edition. Many people want them, so they tend to be overpriced by a lot. I mean, sure, some of these shoes tend to look super high fashion and super trendy, but are you seriously gonna spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on a pair of shoes that is likely gonna be out of trend by next year? I mean, but it's up to you. This brings us to the 10th shoe that no man should ever forget and that is shoes that you can't afford. Like I said, you don't need to wear super expensive shoes to look stylish. It is really all about your basic, your classic, and your timeless shoes. There are lots of super fantastic options out there which are super affordable as well. For example, your Converse, your Vans, and even your Adidas Stan Smith is not that expensive. There's absolutely a big fat zero reason to go broke or even worse get into debt to get that freshly out of the runway sneakers. And that is basically it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to drop me one of these to let me know, yo, Evan, awesome stuff, man. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click onto the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell because I will be dropping at least two new dope videos every single week. And you just don't want to miss it, man. Once again, my name is Evan. You're watching Your Average Gents and I'll see every one of you in my next video. Bam!